Hi, in this video I will show you how to set up ETR master connector. Let's start with SD configuration. First we are going to check files in SD and make modification. Give the command to locate .com file in your terminal. This configuration file may vary based on different SD service providers. You may configure this based on your own service provider. Now give your SD local ID here in local net. And here, keep your external IP. This 1000 and 2000 in the square bracket is the contacts number. Here we have three contacts, and you can also see the password. If you have done any modifications, the file is saved. Then next, give the command to locate extension dot configuration file. Provide the IP address while you install the asterisk. Make any changes you need and save it. And then locate the seria underscore manager dot configuration file. Here check whether the enabled value is mentioned as no. If not, make it as no and save it. Next, view the http.com file. Here, check the binary address field value. You can either use the last address or use IP 127.0.0.1. And last, view the manager.com file. Check that all the values are correct. You can refer to our documentation about the CRM asterisk connector configuration for reference. If you make any changes to the file, please save it. Now we have finished the asterisk configuration. Next, we need to configure the ASTRI connector. But before that, create a folder in your local computer to auto save your call record. Give the command to locate the software master connector properties file. Here in the storage disk, provide the call recording storage part. Make the recording as true to record in the asterisk server public IP and asterisk server IP. Provide your asterisk IP. Give you both of this in the asterisk server both. Then provide username and password. The secret key that will be ra is randomly generated into CRM. You can get the secret key by the configure CRM asterisk key to CRM. Now let's navigate to CRM and click on admin. Scroll to bottom and select PDPX food configuration setting. Here choose asterisk and click on edit. Provide your IP of the web app server with asterisk port. Then give context configured in asterisk in the outbound context and also in the outbound trunk. You can View the details about it in the secure configuration file. The secret key will be randomly generated here. Copy the secret key to paste it in the asterisk connector file. Now click on save. We need to configure the CRM asterisk to provide the secret key that was generated. CRM. So give the command in your terminal to open the CRM asterisk connector properties file. Here paste the secret key that you copied into CRM and save it. So 
this is how you configure your Sierra Master character. To know more about how it works, please use the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.